All right, what is up, guys? The time has come. I'm going to fix the wife's G8. Yeah, so it's been about half a year uh, since the car has been run, uh, running. Um, don't even use it, but uh, she wants to do something with it now for uh, drive it for a little bit. The only thing I do is fix this car. I was in the cabinet, but she's going to daily drive it. So don't not want to. Unreliable car, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the heads off and take everything, and I'm going to see if if it just needs lifters. If it just needs lifters, I'm just gonna place the lifters with the stock. Or if the cam is bad, then I'll go ahead and do the DOD delete and then go get a tube with uh, whatever whatever she wants to get a tube with. But other than that, I'm gonna start taking some stuff off of the engine. Um, it didn't take Ben off since I've been taking parts off of it for my car. Borrowing, should I say, and uh, go from there. So, let me take the radiator out and everything and uh, start inspecting the, the motor. And uh, also, been working on the garage, you know, cleaning it up, making it look all nice and, and pretty clean and stuff. I built the bikes, I built the uh, two power wheels, and also built this uh, shelf going all the way across and put pretty much a storage. So, that's pretty neat. And the next thing we'll build is a uh, Another shop here for what they need workbench. Um, there's a video of somebody that's talking about getting that workbench. So, i do all that, but first I need to fix this car. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and just work on the car now, and then when I'm able to uh, move it out and stuff, I'll just take it all out. It's all working on that side over there. But other than that, the garage is actually coming out um, pretty, pretty nice, pretty clean. Like I said, that's pretty cool. So, like, that saves a lot of space right there. That saves a ton of that space. So, let me just get to the, uh, the car to start taking it apart and go from there. Uh, hopefully, it's good. So it's just, hopefully, just need lifters. Alright, so I just place the storage here. I'm going to go ahead and put all my uh, parts there. So, I'm going to take this off. Just put all my used my, uh, G parts here. I don't even get lost or mixed up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off, take the fan shroud. Actually, I'm not even gonna touch this over here yet. I'm gonna take the coals off and everything on top first. All right, we used to go cruising a lot, so hopefully we can do that again. Now that the car I should get it running. I'm gonna get a station for that. Let me get those off real quick. So I'll record uh, the step-by-step -step process on this deal much because it's, uh, it's a G8, so pretty much uh, same platform as any LS vehicle. So hopefully the video will help somebody in the future but you can use this video to show you how to pretty much take you know stuff apart cools off all right check it out guys I purchased this uh not so long ago uh this come two batteries uh tell me a ratchet trying to get everything uh fuel the only thing i need now is that big old half inch but now i got this one Got the M12, which does the job, but this one actually fits in spots like that. So, I'm use this real quick. Hi, right, guys. So, now everything's off. Uh, dirty valve covers. I'm gonna clean these up, paint them for her. Uh, probably do purple and then clear coat and everything. So it'll be the valve covers, the intake, and all that good stuff. Real quick, and take the valve covers off. This is a 10, so I won't be able to use this. Let me look for it. Eight. All right. Let's take these valve covers off. So filthy. Covers off. Let me take the other valve cover. Uh, remove the push rods actually the rockers and then the push rods and i'm gonna try to take this off right here all right now time to remove the uh rock arms yeah, probably have to go to AutoZone, borrow or rent a or buy a uh, fuel remover tool Check it out guys, man that thing is full of oil, I don't know if you can see it on the camera but it's a lot of oil in here. Yeah I'm going to install a catch can on this one after I finish this build. 
Oh man, it's hard to say. I didn't have to go to AutoZone. I did remove the uh, fuel line. I put it right there. Fuel line's removed, so now I can actually move the intake and then I'll be able to inspect it. But uh, man, it's hot. Let me get another drink. It's freaking hot out here. Empty. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to clean it pretty good so, uh, slowly so it doesn't, nothing goes in the block. So it still had his uh, active management still, so. Dang it, no, I'll make a mess on cooling it, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. Uh, they come off pretty easy. Yeah, stay tuned for that one. So I got the shaft out of the way and I'll be able to move the header more back this way. But it looks like this one had a leak. So I didn't have a bolt on this side, which is far back there. So when I remove the head, I'll double check if there's a, a broken stud or something like that in there. There is, I'll extract it. Well, this is probably uh, like loss of performance and sound that I was making. So here's the trash. Man, it's a lot of work. So let me try to remove this head. I'll do that one off camera, but let me try to get this one off first. Whew. All right, I just watered it down, I'm trying to push it all over there. Man, it's hot. Just put some water in my face. Oof. Picked the wrong day to do this stuff. Right. My day off. <sighs> and pull the head off. Alright, got the head out. I will do this one off camera, but I just want to go ahead and pull the uh, lifters on this side. Hear the noise on this side, so for sure I'll do these real quick, and then of course I'll do that one off camera since I don't have to repeat myself. But this is gonna be a short little video. Um, pretty much just inspecting the car and see what I'm gonna need, and then see what I'm gonna do, and then maybe next week I'll come back in and uh, start working on it to either cam it out or just a LA3 DOD. Let me go ahead and remove the lifters out. See what So actually the DOD or the active lifters are good. They are spring spring compressed up. Able to get three regular lifters out. Another one is stuck in there. So that's not good. If it's stuck in there, it probably scored up something in the cam, probably jacked up. But uh, let me just take that cover off and look through there and see if I can see the cam. Uh, the people that bought us the they haven't done shit right now. Yeah. Have you pulled oh, it? Oh, somebody was asking me, uh, man, all your bolts are loose. Look. Yeah, I'm not even touching them. Mm. This is hard. Not yet, that one was... But yeah, as you were saying? Yeah, somebody's like, oh man, your Vitos are good. He's. Alright, so I got the water pump off. I'm getting the fan shroud out. Um, I know on mine, I thought I had a hole here somewhere. I guess this one doesn't have it for some reason, but. A lot of trash in there. And. Cam does little word out a little bit. I just gotta figure out how to take that one out. I'm trying to take it out. I gotta take this head out still. Um, but let me move this radiator out of the way. Then I'll be able to take the uh, belt off. Then there's under dry pulley, I have to take it off. Then the front cover and so on. And take this head off real quick. Pull the cam out, inspect it, see if I can get that lifter out of there. 
manifold bolts already off. I think there's a broken stud on this head as well. Yep, gotta take that head stud off on this one. Manifold bolt stud or whatever. And then I got one on that side I need to take off as well. So here it is right here. Right there. Oh, it is hot out here. Yeah, not in the videos. I already did that side just to show y'all, but same procedure on this side. So let me do that real quick. All right, it's off. Man, don't use these cheap ass gaskets, guys. Probably the cheap ones that probably even came with the cook headers or could not been those lifters ticking because usually that makes a you know, lifter tick, but I don't know. It sounded like a lifter to me. So we're already here. Gonna cam it now. Uh, I did. I was gonna do just a DOD little LS3 cam, but uh, I changed my mind. We're gonna do a full stage two TSP. And then uh, we're gonna run a Z01 converter, but not right now. If I don't have to pull the motor out. If I do, I pull the put it uh, pull it out, put the Z01 in there. And other than that, we're gonna clean up these heads, and uh, we're almost done for today. So yeah, so stay tuned, guys. Finally off. Let me go ahead and remove this, clean it up a little bit, and then remove the lifters. See if any of those are bad. Yeah, I'm at the have a big mess here in the garage. It's everywhere. But let's go ahead and get those lifters off. And that lifter over there, that's not the good one. And there's not even uh it was not even an active management fail so that's a, that's a weird thing 160,000 miles active management was still good on it so all along it's just a regular ls lifter roller lifter whatever it is you guys um this first video the next video will be the uh pulley remover front cover removal then remove the cam and expect it and all this and that and then try to remove the lifter see uh, what's going on from the inside see if i can get a maybe a pry bar hopefully i don't mess up the bearings and then see if i can pull the cam out but other than that um all the front end and stuff is gone go from there so it's pretty good whoa someone slipped so all done for today uh like comment subscribe if you want to stick around for this cam kit we are going uh tsp stage two so it'll be a little choppy we're gonna try to do like a one uh 111 let's say or 110 let's say uh this is a 110 LSA, but stage three. Stage two on this one is not, it's for my wife, so I don't want it too choppy, but I want it nasty choppy. For her, it does have bore legs also, it's not gonna sound too loud, it's gonna sound good. But other than that, there it is, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, stick around, and uh, see you next time. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They wanna knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Look, straight from the mud like Ruby. Straight to the stage, they love me. I understand they hungry, but please don't hate, that's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking, moving. I've been popping in my city. Well, okay. Shout it, say she loves